going to do a favorites video. It's been a few months since I done my past one and I had enough time to gather a few more things that I really like. So I'm gonna begin with snacks. I have two things that I wanna share. And the first one is something you guys are gonna think I'm insane. I didn't know that giant corn existed. Maybe ridiculous to some, I just wasn't aware of it. And I came across it while I was in Japan because they have these packets of like hard, salted giant corn. I was curious about it, I tried it, instantly loved it. When I went to the foodies festival, there was this stand that actually sold it. That made me so happy because that meant that it's actually available in Europe as well. So I googled it and I ordered myself some, which is on its way. I love giant corn a lot, but nothing compares to these. This is called Samya Kola. It's Swedish and apparently you eat it during special occasions. So Felix last year during Christmas made me try it. I wasn't sure I was going to like it because it's basically salted licorice fudge and I'm not a big fan of salted licorice. I decided to give it a go and oh boy, did I like it. I've become obsessed with it. Felix actually told his parents about it. So they are so kind that every once in a while they send me some. This is again the last one I have left and I kept it to show it in this video. But please, if you can, give this a try. I wanna know if you're in the group of I really like it or the group of I hate this, what is this, it's disgusting. Cause I feel like there is no in between. Either you really become obsessed with it or you don't care for it. The next thing I'm going to talk about is related to health. It's borage oil capsules. It's something that my mom made me take. I noticed that since taking this, it fixed my skin so much. I've always struggled with acne. I tried so many different things and usually the strong stuff that actually helped just killed me on the inside. If you are curious about it, maybe go to the doctor or a nutritionist and ask for advice. For me, this has been doing wonders. Now we're gonna move on to makeup. I have three things I wanna talk about. The first one is by the brand Dear Claire's, which is South Korean, and it's the Illuminating Supple Blemish Cream with SPF 40. The first time I tried it, I knew it was a good product, but my skin was not as clear as it is now, so I needed more coverage than this. But because now it's quite okay, I've been reaching for things that are way more natural looking. I can honestly say this is by far the best BB cream I've ever came across. So highly recommend it. Another South Korean product that I've been enjoying is by the brand Herborean and it's the Glow Cream. I just apply it to the cheekbones. It really looks so natural to the point that it seems as if it's coming within me rather than being a product that I applied on top of my skin because it has this beautiful pearlescent finish to it with some pink tones and golden sparkles. And now the final beauty product is this lip base by Sigma and this is the perfect color for my lips. It's the shade that I usually go for and the way I use this, it's almost like you would with a regular lip pencil but I focus it mostly in certain areas on my lips that I want to look fuller and it really makes such a major difference. But now we're gonna move on to entertainment. I have a movie and a TV show that I wanna recommend. The movie recently came to the cinema and it's called A Quiet Place. It's a horror movie and it follows the story of this family that is trying to survive this world where these giant creatures live. They don't know what they are, they don't know where they came from, they just know that basically the entire world is dead and the only way they have to survive is to keep quiet because as soon as they make the faintest noise, these creatures will come and kill them. Because they're so tense throughout the entire movie, as soon as there is a noise, you jump. But the TV show I wanna recommend is called Sweet Bitter. I think it just recently started because I only saw one episode, but that's all it took for me to know that I wanted to keep watching it. It's about this girl that moves to New York and gets hired in this restaurant. It sounds like such a basic plot, but I love the protagonist and also the mood. I don't know, there's something about it. I really enjoy it. So if you have some free time and you wanna watch something new, check it out. And to finish up this video, I'm gonna talk about music. Lately, Felix and I have been doing a lot of road trips and usually I'm the DJ, I'm the one that puts up the music and because we have been traveling so much, I'm kind of running low on what to put up. I've been doing my research and came across two artists that I never heard of before. The first one is called Boy Pablo and his music is exactly what I was looking for. It has this slightly retro, very chill vibe to it. And the two songs of his that I'm enjoying the most are Every Time 
and Losing You. And the other artist is kind of in the same genre category. His name is Rex Orange County. And the song that I came across is Loving Is Easy and I think it recently blew up. But I checked out some of his older work and a lot of his songs are really, really great. So if you want to give them a listen, I will link you down below. But that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about. If you have any suggestions for me, let me know as usual in the comments. And I'm gonna go right now. I will see you very soon. Bye!